The morning of the 26th of April was as warm and beautiful as anyone could remember. Yet, before dawn, the fresh, clear air had already been transformed. Now nothing was harmless. Dust, hair, clothes, the water supply, crops, livestock, the food they make, the milk they make, poison. On the evidence, I simply can't believe that the men in charge didn't know this. Yet not one warning was given. Not one precautionary action taken. Why did they not act? Important men were beginning to arrive from Moscow. Comrade, may I They still seemed to cling to the hope that Please, if they on. ignored the truth, it might simply drift away and take the radiation and the blame with it. Well, we've little more to go on. Victor Brukhanov, the director of the plant, has reconfirmed the radiation doesn't exceed 3.6 rentagens per hour. I've got to say, we're a little surprised by that, but if true, that's very good news. So I don't need to worry? You can if you want to, Boris. I wouldn't until it gets much higher. A thorough inspection of the reactor building was immediately instigated. Our skilled technical staff confirmed a degree of damage to the structure of Unit 4. Fire did cause some minor damage to the roof of the turbine hall, but it was quickly extinguished by our highly trained fire crews. And since this morning, water has been fed to the reactor in order to cool it, according to my So, this is Prushinsky. Chief Engineer of the State so Committee. The situation is a lot more great. Comrade Brukhanov has not finished his report yet. So the concrete cap on the reactor that weighs about a thousand tons has been blown to one side by the explosion. And it's now like a massive half closed eyelid from above. Now, the wind direction at the moment so is up towards the other. behind this eyelid? I'm sorry? What's behind the eyelid? The core, sir. The exposed nuclear reactor core. And it's burning, sir. It's on fire. Sir, we need to evacuate the town be at once quiet. and close down the... Comrade Shabina will be here soon, and when what he arrives... What is the reading here in town? Well, even at that height, it's 10,000 rentagens. I don't know where the 3.6 figure came from, but I... The, uh, the readings were below Sir, the we rentagen. need to evacuate the town at once and shut down the remaining reactor. Glasnost nonsense. Evacuating the town will cause panic. People are already leaving because of rumour alone. No. Oh, and bad off. Your troops will not wear their masks and protective clothing. It will cause suspicion. And anyway, we haven't got enough to go around. A rumour was spreading which some believed, but most did not. Safe in the knowledge that they would be told of any threat, 35,000 people spent a sunny Saturday afternoon surrounded by levels of radiation 400 times the accepted norm.
and still no warning was given. No action taken. Still no iodine given to the 17,000 children whose thyroid glands are now absorbing radiation like a sponge absorbs water. This is no longer the denial of the guilty. Their delusion is falling away with their blistered skin. No, this is the men above them. They are now the blind ones. To them, the truth is a greater threat than the invisible murderer that they know is on the loose. There's four reactors here, of course, four units, all identical. The fifth one should be finished this year, and there's another one planned, so in three years, this will be the largest plant in the world. This is the, uh, this is the fourth one that's coming in now. This one? Just, just to the left of the red and white chimney. Could have done the same What's that line? It's, it, it's the reactor, when we're, we're looking in, into the reactor. We, we have to... Sir, you've been over the unit. Comrade Le Gassoff and I, somewhat distressed you, eh, Valeri? Then you've seen it. Each man will have his chance to present his report to the Commission. Sir, we need to discuss the evacuation. There will be no evacuation. Of course, we discuss radiation. There's every chance. Panic is worse than radiation. Are we in here? Finally, as our friends in the KGB can confirm, Nothing has been reported overseas, and nothing in Kiev. Moving on to the reactor. Deputy Minister of Energy Shasharin ordered an inspection. He's completely destroyed. Ordered an inspection and can confirm that it is in fact damaged. But we suggest that it be left to burn off. Did anyone hear what Gennady just said? Look, being destroyed. Uh, Comrade Lagasov, you will have your chance to speak later. <laughs> I'm sorry, Boris, but it seems there's almost no one in this room who, who understands what this means. It's on fire. <laughs> the graphite moderator, which in itself is just unbelievably radioactive, and what's left of the fuel core, are on fire. Now, that, that's, that's about two and a half thousand tons of carbon, which... Burning at one ton an hour will burn roughly for three months. And every day that it burns, it will send into the atmosphere more radiation than has ever been released in, in all the nuclear accidents that have ever happened anywhere in the world all put together. Every day for three months. You have my word that People that asleep in their beds in this town tonight have, have effectively died today. As I speak, radiation is entering the bodies of everybody in this room. Everybody outside, for hundreds of miles. We can no longer pretend. And, yeah, it's criminal. And, and, it, and it's got to stop. And you have got to stop it. And how we can remedy the situation, but it's simply unacceptable to suggest we let it burn out. Burn off. Then we must quickly and quietly find a remedy and put it out. <laughs> 